Hello, this is Herb Bland, as known as the 72 CPU Geek. I just want to give you a tutorial class on how to set up the M Audio Pro Key, uh, Key Station Pro 88 to operate as a performance apparatus. As you know, this is an 88 uh, keyboard controller with a lot of faders and pan pots and triggers and things of this sort. Uh, what I'm going to do is basically use it in the performance mode uh, to get you to be able to stack sounds. Uh, most keyboard stations, they go through uh, different patches or sounds, but I'm going to show you how to use it in a more effective way. Now, as you always know, I, I only use Sonar, people. Sonar, that's where it's at. Is a rolling product by Cakewalk. So I'm gonna show you how to set up your apparatus, to, the keyboard controller, to be used in a performance mode application. Everybody pretty much knows how to use the key station in a configuration for studio because it's one to one. But I'm gonna show you how to use it where you can use the sliders alongside with the software to get the results that you're needing. Okay. Let's give you an overview. As you can notice right here, please excuse my camera work. If you notice right here, this is channel number one. And channel number one dictates a plugin called the Lizard Lounge. That is my sound of choice. And as you can see, that is the Lizard Lounge. And I got a sound I made called Roads with a Nasty Bite. That's a sound I made in within the EP3. Now, with that being said, if you look to the screen to the top here, let's go. Zoom in. You see that there's a slider there. That's slider number one or channel number one. And it is moving because I am moving it with pull out. I am moving it with my finger. And as I move it with the finger, channel number one is moving so basically what I'm doing is controlling the lizard lounge to be coincide or correlated with channel number one but say in the the, the track pane I want to put another sound in there and you might not be able to see that but that's strings so I go to my slider here and I turn up the string If I want to, I can bring the Lizard Lounge into there with channel one. Now I got strings and strings and the electric piano, the Lizard Lounge. Now, you're probably wondering, how in the world did I do all of that? Well, we have to give you a breakdown. Of course, there has to be a part two to this. So get your popcorn and get your favorite beverage that you want to drink because it is a long drawn out process. Uh, I'm going to share this with the whole internet community and those that like to use sonar or whatever your DAW is. But just to give you a heads up, basically uh, the, key, the, the uh, M Audio Key Station Pro 88 does not have a template for sonar. So guess what, my friends? You have to set it up yourself but that's all right I'm gonna show you a more excellent way to do it in a very quick fast manner you have to be familiar with the settings on your key station uh, controller your M audio controller and you also have to be very familiar with with the software functions and parameters in sonar so with that being said look forward to part two get your popcorn Get with your favorite beverage because it's a long drawn out process. But I'm going to make it very easy and simple for you. All you got to do is know basic programming procedures and you can make it happen. So get ready. I'm going to teach you how to set up both the key station and sonar to be a multi timbral organism using so the software and also the program and the key station Pro 88. All right. See you in a bit.